What's going on? It's Danny Ives with Ivy League Mixed Martial Arts. I have my assistant here, uh, Phil Higgins, who's trying to steal my style and my, my beard look. But anyway, today we're going to go over a takedown called an inside trip. And uh, if you practice true mixed martial arts, that usually includes Muay Thai kickboxing, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and wrestling. Wrestling being AKA takedowns, okay? Wrestling is kind of like the glue that holds everything together. Um, if you don't have good wrestling, and you're trying to get the fight to the ground, and the other guy has good wrestling, it's going to be really tough. Vice versa, if you want to keep the fight on the feet, and you get taken down every split second, you're in trouble. So you've got to have the wrestling in order to be able to dictate and control fights. And that does, that's just not for UFC or, or MMA events, that's also for self-defense. You want to be able to dictate whether you stay standing or on the ground. And that's my job is to help you with that today. All right, so an inside trip is uh, it's a little bit more of an intermediate technique, but I like it. We teach it a lot here because... Uh, you don't have to do a whole lot of extraneous motion, not a whole lot of movement. It's pretty simple, okay? It's the timing of it that makes it intermediate, okay? So we start here in the over-under position. Usually get in this position just uh, over the course of a fight. From here, I want to turn my body sideways to fill, okay? I don't want to be directly in front of him. I want to turn my body sideways or perpendicular to him, okay? From here, I'm going to do a little half-man step, a little chop step here to get close to him. So it's going to look like this. So my left leg comes in and replaces the right leg, and the right leg is going to hook all the way around Phil's leg, and all the way around his calf muscle, his knee, everything, okay? Once I hook that leg, my head and my right arm are going to basically slide down, and we're going to put everything on Phil's left side. So it's going to look like this. One, two, everything comes down, hook the leg, your arm comes down, your head's on the same side, drive, and finish your takedown, okay? I also like this too, especially if you're an older guy or gal, you have bad knees, this is very easy on the body, not to, uh, you know, you're not slamming your knees down, doing anything traumatic, okay, so from the other side, from here, again, over under position, we're in the course of a little bit of a scrape here, I turn my body sideways, I take a little chop step, one, two, with my right leg, I hook onto the back of his leg, now this is key, I don't just stay here, I slide down the leg, and my knee, my shin, my foot are going to go to the mat, okay, head and my right arm here, hook around the leg as well and lean into the leg to help me finish this technique. So it should look like this. Chop step, hook. As I throw my body weight in, I'm hooking the whole leg. And notice how again, knee, shin, foot on the mat. My right arm comes down to the leg here, not only to help me control the leg more, but also to keep him from jumping out of this, okay, with his leg. Sit through and finish, okay? So one more time. The great technique, um, I like this a lot because I'm not I am not athletic at all, okay, I'm chunky and I'm slow, I don't have any of the, uh, the athletic tools, so something like this was perfect for me, okay, but again, we're here, chop step, hook the leg, remember, head and arm have to go to the same side of the leg I'm attacking, so if I'm trying to take Phil down by hooking his left leg, my body's got to go to that leg here, head and everything combined, once you're on top, then we would start to employ our Brazilian Jiu Jitsu techniques, okay, but that's the inside trip, taught by yours truly, Danny Ives. For more information, check out our website, annapolismixedmartialarts.com.